Hello again. I'm back to tell you about the chain rule today and its link with derivatives. So this is a continuation of my last video that was about derivatives, the special case of derivatives. Uh, you can go watch that if you need a refresher. Uh, if you've already watched it, then you're in the right place. So, we talked about the special cases of derivatives that we should memorize. L n, whoops, ln of x, e to the x, sine x, cosine x, and tan x. So, I'm going to go through some examples of how to use the chain rule in questions like these. So I'm going to start off with the easiest one, which is probably going to be e to the x. So we know that the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. That's the derivative. So say we have f, or let's, let's make it y to make it easier, y equals e to the 4x. What do we do here? So we know that e to the x the derivative of that is just e to the x, but what's e to the 4x? So what we do, the the way that I like to think about it is we box this up here because that's what we don't know what to do with it, right? When you look at this problem, you say, okay, it looks like it's in the form e to the x, so it should remain e to the x. And you're not wrong, but this 4 here changes that. This is its own kind of function. So we need to uh, figure out how to work with that. So box that because that's what we don't know how to work with. So y prime of this is just going to be e, keep it just e to the x, right? So it would just be e to the 4x because in this case, 4x, sorry, 4x is your x, right? So e to the 4x. And then what you have to do here is you've got to take the derivative of all of this. right? So you have to take the derivative of your x. And the derivative of 4x is just 4. So what we have here is y prime equals 4 times e to the 4x. So that's how to apply chain rule to e to the x problems. Now let's try, let's try a harder one. We're going to do, let's see, what should we do? Sine of, let's go. 3x squared. Sine of 3x squared. That's why. Alright, so before I show you how to do this, I want you to think about it a bit by yourself. What would you do? Uh, what is your x in this case? How do you take the derivative of your x? And all of that. So take a few seconds. You can pause if you want. Okay, so I'm going to begin here. So we're going to box this up, alright? Because this is our x because we know the derivative of sine of x, but we don't know the derivative of sine of 3x squared. So what we can do is we can build off of the derivative of sine x. We know that the derivative of sine x is cosine x. So our first step is write down the derivative, cosine of x, in this case our x is 3x squared, cosine of 3x squared. And remember that this is circled. We need to take the derivative of that before we're done. What's the derivative of 3x squared? Well, pull down the 2. So then you got times 6x. You got to subtract 1 minus the 2. Uh, I showed that a bit in the beginning of the last video. But basically, okay, so here, let, let me do a quick refresh too on how to actually take the derivative of um, quadratics. So if you have 3x squared here, it's in the form a times b to the x. You pull down the x and multiply a times x, multiply that by b, and then you just do x minus 1. So in this case, you take your 2 down, multiply 2 by 6, or sorry, multiply 3 by 2, you get 6, and then you got your x still, your x stays, and then your product, your power up here, you just subtract it by 1. So it's 2 minus 1, so you get 6x to the first, which just equals 6x. So, with all of that in mind, this is the solution to the derivative of sine of 3x squared. 
Gonna do one more for you guys. Gonna make it challenging. Okay, so let's do sine squared of hmm. uh, anything, 7x to the third. Why not? All right, so this looks intimidating, most likely. But it follows the same rules as everything else. You've got your sine, you've got your x, but this 2 right here is probably confusing you. Whenever you stumble upon something like this, move the 2 to the end. So write it like sine of 7x cubed squared. Now hopefully you know what to do with it because it's just in the same form of a times b to the x. So pull that 2 down to the front. You got 2 times all of this. And then you take the derivative of that while you're at it. So. Pull that 2 down, and then go cosine of 7x cubed. It's going to be to the first, because it's just to the 2 minus 1, right? So that's just to the first. And then you've got to circle this, because this is your x in this case. And you got to take the derivative of that. So the derivative of 7x cubed, pause, think about it. Sorry about that phone call. Uh, so pause, think about that. Hopefully you've got it at this point. You pull down the three, multiply that out. You get 21 X, subtract one from three, and you get two. That's your answer for what Y prime is. This would be Y. This would be Y prime. Uh, hopefully you got a good understanding of how to do derivatives, and now since you know how to do chain rule, you most likely ready to tackle on any sort of derivative problem. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, short little overview of derivatives and the chain rule. Uh, it was a bit of a quick uh, overview, so it wasn't anything too in-depth, but it covered everything pretty well, uh, and it doesn't take too much time to review. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.